Hi guys, long time not see, um, at least long time not see for a raw emotion video and what is that? I didn't, really, I didn't really plan on making any video like that but today and yesterday were two really intense kind of days and I just felt like I wanted to rant a little bit or to vent out my frustration and my anger. Uh, is it really anger? Well, I'm not quite sure what this feeling is, but yesterday and today I I already po uh, I already talked about that in previous videos about how much it is difficult to be a girl in Paris. Well, obviously compared to some cities and places in the world, it's a piece of cake. But you know, in Paris you get you get a lot of um, catcalling, a lot of street harassment, a lot of violence. Um, and yesterday and today were no exception and oh shit and actually were really really bad like yesterday i was chased by two guys in their car and they basically blocked the street to talk to me and the cars behind them were like you know uh telling them to well obviously to drive on to carry on but they did not and then they kind i obviously kept on walking as i would usually and they followed me and they stopped twice and you know kept on talking to me which felt really really annoying really um they didn't they were not scary but they were really annoying and yesterday everyone commented on my hair everyone came talk to me and you know talked about my hair and my eyes and blah 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 a guy came to me in a park and offered me to massage my feet um to massage my feet yeah um and you know i replied to everyone with you know smile and politeness I was like, I'm walking in the street and I'm sitting in a park. I just want to relax and enjoy myself. I don't want to be annoyed and harassed and, you know, feel that violated by people. It's It was really, really annoying. And today I was supposed to meet with Mr. Herbs, uh, which was something I really wanted to do and I even baked for him and stuff and he did not even reply to my message, to my text so I was like, okay, <laughs> great um, and I went out and I went to the cemetery because that's my happy place I like going to a cemetery and it's a place where I usually feel at peace I feel peaceful, calm and relaxed and no one you know gives a shit about you and the people you meet are usually really nice they just ask you where is blah blah blah's grave and they smile at you because everyone's happy there it's a you know it's a funny not funny but it's a, it's a very interesting and pretty place and I love this place it's my second favorite place in Paris and I love it and I went there because I felt sad because Mr. Hubs didn't reply to me and because I'm alone in Paris and I was just looking for you know some comfort and as soon as I sit on the bench two guys come to me they were about 50 years old and they talked to me for about 40 minutes and I had to leave the cemetery because otherwise they would not have left me and I would have had to keep on talking with them forever so I didn't even have time to enjoy myself and they were so scary they were really violent and really um, they were really gross and really unrespectful basically first of all they were racist and they were from the extreme right wing which is the opposite of my political um, views um, obviously on the left on the very very left and they were saying racist things that I could not handle and I could not bear hearing someone say that kind of stuff so I had to speak up a little bit and you know what I was being very polite because that's what I've been told to do and that's what I've been taught and that's what I feel like I have to do because I'm scared what people are gonna do to me or what people are gonna say to me because I'm a girl you know and there were no one in there was no one around us and there were two guys what you know what could have happened I don't know I don't know but still I had to speak up and I was like okay maybe they will go away because that's what people do usually but they didn't go away and then they started asking about my personal life like um do you like guys do you have a boyfriend would you be interested in having sex that's your kind of stuff what turns you on and I was like 
man, are you serious? I don't know you. What's what's wrong with you? And I just said I was not interested in men, and they thought that it meant that I was interested in girls. So one of them was like, oh, I love lesbians, and I love watching them. That turns me on. Would it be possible, possibly? Would it be, would it be possible, perhaps, to watch you with one of your girlfriends and stuff? And when I said, no, I don't have anyone in my life currently and I don't want to do that, he said, well, you know, I know girls, I could introduce you to them and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 because I'm a girl alone sitting on a bench doesn't mean I need and I want someone to talk to me. Doesn't mean it's okay to come and ask for personal stuff and very overly sexual things. Like, I mean, it's fine if that's the Thing, I don't care, I don't give a shit what people do, but why Why do people feel like it's okay to come and be like that to girls? Because they don't do that between men, and girls don't do that to men. That's not, that's not how it happens. That's not how we do. That's not right. That's not true. We don't do that. We never fucking do that. And I am so over that. Like, I am really tired of that. I don't know. I've never reacted like that before and you know I've had so many people come to me and people always talk to me people follow me follow me people touch me kiss me on the cheeks and stuff but these two men were so violent in what they were saying and the way they were talking about women and about sex that it really like it really shocked me I don't know I don't really know why but I felt like Honestly, I feel kind of dirty now because they were talking about that so much and I didn't know how to say please leave me alone and they were at the end they were starting to get a little bit like annoyed at me because I didn't want to take the numbers and I had to smile and I had to be polite and kind you know like the kind girl and where is in inside of me all I wanted was someone to help me and I wanted to be the one to help myself I wanted to be strong enough to stand up and say see I was planning on relaxing and reading a book here and you're just annoying and you're unrespectful to me so could you leave that's what I wanted to do but honestly I don't have the guts to do that can anyone blame me for that I don't know but I don't have the guts to do that and yeah it sucks it's like it sucks. It just sucks. It's very, very... It's frustrating and it's very tiring. Like, honestly, right now I feel very attacked. Like, I feel like I've been attacked, basically. Because, you know, yesterday happened. And today as well. And today was really like... <sighs> I don't know. I, I love men. I'm not saying that men are all jerks and that bad guys but I've never met a guy or very rarely that loves me or that respected me as a girl and never sexualized me at one point and that is just tiring it's really tiring <sighs> anyway I just yeah I just feel like really I don't know why this, these two guys really like shocked me because they were very not even only what they were saying about me and my sexuality that wasn't even my sexuality but the way they talked about like people and the racist things they said they really like shocked me why is that raining so much now? I, I just realized those people exist they're really out there living their life freely and they can do whatever they want in the street and if they wanted suddenly to attack you know someone from any kind of social ethnic background that they don't like they would do it they would do it and they don't respect women either I know those people exist but I've never really seen them in real life like I've never encountered I've never really met any of them and such violence is really shocking to me at least it is so I need to let that out okay I'm going to take a shower now and just relax in the safety of my flat um, in this world of my own where 
no one hates anyone and people are nice and happy and kind because yeah that's what that's what the world should be like really anyway uh, I will talk to you later guys bye